Dog Park in Scottsdale is now millions of dollars over budget and the dirt hasn't even been moved yet. The dog park near Thompson Peak Parkway in Hayden is an example of how massive inflation has impacted almost everything. Team 12's William Pitts explains why Scottsdale is spending six million dollars on a dog park. Look, this was always going to be an expensive dog park, a couple of million dollars, but that was back in 2019. Now, this will be a six million dollar dog park. That's a lot of money for anything, much less a dog park. And Scottsdale thought they had it covered. And with all of our project budgets, we factored in a, a pretty healthy contingency amount, usually enough to cover uh, a couple of years of uh, cost increases. City Manager Dan Wirth says voters passed the construction bond in 2019 that would build the dog park and more than 50 other projects. And there was that cushion that was supposed to handle any changes in costs. But then inflation went wild. We had to build parking. We had to build a bridge over a wash to connect the parking to the dog park. There's a lot of costs that go into it that uh, uh, that are part of providing a quality product. It wasn't the Taj Mahal of dog parks, but it's close. Three separate fenced in areas, a bridge right about here going over a wash, a new bathroom building, landscaping and a big parking lot, plus new turn lanes on Hayden to get into it. It would all be built on this desert lot right next to Thompson Peak Park. Pretty soon the dog park alone was $2 million over budget and it's still just dirt. It just keeps going up and so you look at the cost of labor, uh, you look at the cost of materials, and then you hear all this stuff about supply chain. City Councilman Barry Graham says the city found the money to make up the gap, but there are more than 50 other projects the bond was supposed to pay for, and there's still tens of millions of dollars short for those. Everybody with the luxury of, you know, hindsight would say, why couldn't you have all done all those projects before the pandemic and all the, the inflation that's, you know, been coming on since then? I wish we had. So why didn't the city build it back in 2019? Like any city project, it takes a lot of time. The timeline shows public comment, planning, contracts. It was always going to be six years. But by then, six million may seem like a bargain. William Pitts, 12 News.